Yo, what is up people? Welcome back to Satori Graphics and today I've got a real big treat for you all because I'm going to share some resources that are going to be so useful to you as a graphic designer all based around the use of colour. Oh yeah, and also did I mention they're totally free. And speaking of free resources, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor. So another awesome resource for learning essential skills as a graphic designer is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is a community of creators that holds over 25,000 classes on design, business and other useful topics. And regarding graphic design, Skillshare boasts a wide selection of courses by professionals in their respective fields. You can learn more about Skillshare and how to get two months totally for free later in today's video. The first resource was created by the uh, reverse image service TinEye. It's going to break down the image in terms of colour, which is perfect for creating colour palettes for your next graphic design. So you can either upload uh, an image directly or you can type in a URL. But once you have the image into its service, you're then going to see this colour chart here, which dictates just how much of each colour is used on your image. You can also choose to remove the background. But the really, really neat thing here is that you're given the hex color codes, percentages, and even the name of each color. You can then click a color and you're directed to an imagery that utilizes that very same color. But yeah, this resource is so, so handy for sampling an image and then finding or creating a color scheme directly from that image. This service is linked down below and so are the other four features that are coming up in today's video. So next we have Spy Color, which gives you the most amount of information of any color that I've actually seen on the internet. You literally are going to have tons and tons of info on any color you choose. You can type in a CMYK color, a hex color code and so forth, but for demonstration purposes, let's try out an RGB color. You then find below loads and loads of useful information on your color. There is a detailed description of our green hue here, as well as various different hex color codes. Not only that, but you also have the HSL, HSV, and XYZ and so much more information that you can use relating back to your colour. But really crucially at the very bottom, you will notice that there are differing colour schemes utilising your chosen colour. This resource is super useful and I do actually have this one bookmarked, as I do with a few other of today's editions. But for the next resource, we're going to have a little bit of fun whilst learning too. So this is a colour matching game, where you have a set amount of time to try and match up the right colour. Now it does get progressively more difficult as you pass through the six levels, and you can visualise how different colour schemes fit into the colour wheel, whilst having some fun doing so. And I gave this game an entire playthrough and my final score was 8.8 .8, and I'm not sure if that's good or bad but just try it for yourself and if you do finish it let me know what you scored down in the comment section below. Now the penultimate colour resource that you can for sure benefit from as a graphic designer is Colour Hunt. This is almost like a mini social media for colour palettes. Well, kind of. But yeah, there are so many neat and cool colour palettes that are here for you to browse over. And you can also enter into the categories here, for example, choosing popular. This red to purple colour palette really looks very interesting to me and I feel this website just inspires me so much simply by viewing colour palettes. You can also give some search terms in the top right here, so for example dark or bright. 
Now I really do like this layout and the functionality of this resource, but do let me know what you think down below. Lastly today, a heavy hitter that has recently been updated, and that is Adobe Color. Now as before, you do have a large selection of color schemes off to the left, which allow you to make quick and easy color groups. So for example, maybe I want to make a monochromatic scheme for my next graphic design. Now one thing I didn't previously notice on Adobe Color is the trend section. Here you can find color palettes influenced by specific sectors. So for example fashion or illustration. Now this for me is really really neat and I do love the logic behind it. And hey also this red color scheme here is a lot like the one we viewed earlier in the previous resource. But yeah, do let me know what you think of all of the colour schemes and the colour resources in today's video. So like I mentioned, today I'm offering you the chance of receiving two months access to Skillshare totally for free if you do use my link down in the description box below. Even without this offer of two free months, Skillshare only costs $10 per month which really does open the door to a wide range of useful lessons and courses, all delivered in a professional and a neat manner by successful people in their relative fields. So do be sure to check out Skillshare linked down below and start learning some new skills and some new techniques today. So yeah, thanks for stopping by at Toy Graphics today and you might have noticed I got a new camera. Let me know what you think of this camera down in the comment section below and also what you thought of today's video in general. But yeah, of course, make sure you have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.